Hello folks, I'm Poojan from the Enterprise Switching Team. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the steps to perform an iOS upgrade on a stack of 9200 switches via install mode. First, we verify the current iOS XE version of the switch using the show version command. As you can see, the current iOS XE version of the switch is 17.6.5 and it's already in install mode. We would follow the following upgrade procedure for a successful upgrade. First, we clean up all the inactive partition. Second, we copy the new image to the flash memory of the switch and validate its integrity. Third, verify the boot variable. Fourth, install the image and verify the correct image installation. Step one, we clean up all the inactive partition using install remove inactive command. It would list down all the inactive files. We press yes to delete the listed files. As you can see, the listed files have been deleted successfully. Step 2. Copy and validate the image. Visit software.cisco.com and download the software version which you want to upgrade. Here we are using 17.9.4a. After download, Please copy the image to the flash memory of the active switch via TFTP server or USB. Once the image is copied, we validate its integrity using the verify command and the MD5 checksum value we would source from software download page. By following the link, you would land to this page and under the product search section, you will need to enter the PID you intend to upgrade. Select the PID iOS XE software. Search for 17.9.4a. Use the arrow key to download the image, and by hovering over the image, you would be able to see the MD5 checksum value, which you would need to make a note of. Once the image is copied to the switch, we verify the same using the dir flash command. As we can see, the image is copied successfully. Now we validate the image using the md5 checksum value. The intention behind doing this step is to be certain the image was not corrupted while it was being copied inside the flash memory of the switch. As you can see, the image is verified successfully. Step 3. Verify the boot variable using the show boot command. As you can see, the boot variable is pointing to packages.conf. If the boot variable is not pointing to packages.conf, you can change it using the following steps. Step 4. Install image using command install add file flash activate commit. Once the command is executed, the active switch will push the image to all the member switches in the stack.
after the image is copied on all the member switches in the stack you get a prompt to approve the reload of the stack now we'll have to wait for the stack to come back up this activity would take anywhere between 15 to 20 minutes Now the stack has come up, we will verify the current version using the show version command. As you can see, the switch has successfully upgraded to 17.9.4a. Thank you.